Okay, today we're taking a look at the Techno LCX Series 59120 CNC router. As you can see here, it's got 20 inches of Z-axis clearance, 36 inches of travel, comes with NRoute Pro, our 3D CAD CAM software, five tool holders, a five horsepower HSD automatic tool changing spindle, and a six zone vacuum table. In addition, it comes with the VTLF 250 vacuum pump in premium condition. In fact, we did an extensive video on the VTLF 250 Becker vacuum pump, and I'll link that video below. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the vacuum pump now. And we'll run over and take a look at the gauge with the two zones currently open at the front of the table. You can see there's six zones, six valves. If you look at the gauge here, you can see we're getting plenty of vacuum, even with two zones open. We're getting almost 22, 23 inches of mercury. Those two are open, the other four zones are off. I'm gonna take our piece of melamine here and toss it on the table. You can see that sticks immediately, and I'm gonna cut myself on this sharp melamine before I'm able to get this piece to move. I can also easily close these two zones just by flipping those valves, and then you'll notice immediately I have no vacuum hold down on the table with that part. And if we go look at that gauge, it's going to bump up just a little bit, maybe 24, almost 25 inches of mercury. Now if we come around to the side here, we notice that there's very little exhaust coming out. That's because we've got all the valves closed, we're deadheading this pump, so there's not a lot of airflow. But one of the safety features on the Becker vacuum pumps they come with a built-in relief valve, so we're actually getting air drawn in from this side because there is a relief valve right here. And that's a really good thing to have. If you don't have a relief valve on your vacuum pump, you do run the risk of burning that pump up. As you can see here, we're just using standard two-inch PVC pipe, so you can make that run as long as you'd like. Just try to minimize the number of bends that you're going to use. Again, it comes with the wrenches, the tool holders, NRoute Pro CAD CAM software and that 36 inches of Z-Travel and 20 inches of gantry clearance. And now we see the machine is homing, so it's moving up in the Z-axis and then it'll move to the left in the X and towards us in the Y, and that's done with a single button click on the user interface. Once it reaches the front of the machine, the machine is now homed and we're ready to proceed. Okay, now we're using the automatic tool touch off. This is gonna set our Z zero with a single click of a button. The Z axis will come down with the tool and touch off on our auto touch off lock. And now that shows the correct amount from the surface to the particular tool point, which is 3.2 inches. In addition to the automatic tool touch off, we also need to set the X and Y zero zero position. That's easily done by navigating the tool to the corner of the material you want to cut and then walking over to the interface and clicking X zero, Y zero. That's all there is to it. last step to get started we simply click on file find the CNC file with the G code that we want to run and click OK the controller will process that file and show a preview in the upper left corner now we just need to hit start and run <laughs> 